Hello, hello, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 318 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Raven, and 318 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. I was very unhappy and disappointed with what my life looked like, and I just didn't want to be sad anymore. So what I decided to do was make a list of about 10 to 12 things that I thought were absolutely important and essential for me to tackle. And... Um, things like fixing my sleep schedule, my water intake, things like that. And I decided to track my progress with each of those things. As you can see, there's a beautiful mountain behind me. It's freaking incredible. And uh, this is just the beginning. This is my first time here at uh, Moraine Lake. And um, yeah, I'm just very excited to be here. Um, I lost my train of thought because people started calling me over. Um, so basically the goal of the list is to make a list of things that I want to change about my life and I track my progress with each of those things and the goal is that by hopefully becoming more conscious of each of these things I will hopefully develop some good habits and drop some bad habits along the way. So that is basically what this whole series is about. That's what this journey is about. Let me just show you this view. This is insane. So today is officially the first day of the hike. We're going to be going to Lake Moraine first, Lake Louise first. It's quite cold here. So right now I'm wearing leggings and I'm wearing um, just my regular Ultra Boost. I don't know if you guys can see. And um, so these are fleece lined leggings. And then I have a shirt underneath and then a checkered shirt like a flannel. And then I have my um, wind, wind, wind breaker and then my winter jacket and I have this on top and then for if I get super cold I think I'm just gonna put my hood on top um so yeah that's all I have for you guys and I'll check in with you guys soon and then after that we're gonna be doing our first hike um so excited about that oh uh let me tell you guys about breakfast I woke up today around five something prayed um fudger which was really nice and then after that had some breakfast which the islamic relief crew cooked for us and put together for us which was so wonderful and um after that uh they gave us with uh they gave us what's that called uh like pr protein bars and water and gatorade and all those things and then um we were off to come here to moraine lake and one thing I want to say about the drive here is my ears were popping, so I feel like there's definitely a huge change in elevation. Very excited about this. Talk to you guys soon. so cold so this is moraine lake i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like isn't that incredible oh my goodness wow it's just so beautiful oh my goodness So beautiful. <sighs> Look at how like <sighs> it's incredible. Look how clear this water is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
is just beautiful, holy. Oh yeah, it's freezing! <laughs> Holy, it's freezing! I feel like yeah. that's a great organization. They're they're solid. They're very very. Yeah. They're very also in like Scarborough stuff too. That's the same that. so people come and skate. skate. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. Mashallah. Oh my goodness! Look at those mountains. Whoa. Holy, it's, that's what I'm saying, it's beautiful. So welcome to Lake Louise. Oh my God. <laughs> this is definitely a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. So I have consumed my first protein bar of the hike, and guess what? We ain't even started hiking yet, man. But go hungry. Breathtaking. Just like blown away. And right up there at those mountain tops, it's all snow. Like that's how different the temperature is down here we got so much greenery and then right up there snow just I keep thinking like these trees are able to grow in these harsh conditions and the snow one of the um, locals was saying that's needed to regulate the temperatures. Like, there's a system and it's just beautiful how it's all working without, you know, interruption and, well, not interruption. I mean, sure, I'm sure humans try to interrupt, but I think what I was trying to say is without our interference, like, this can handle its own. Like, nature has its way of handling itself we just need to control everything but it's beautiful I wish they had markers on this trail that showed you how much of the hike you've already completed. That'd be cool. I love that sound of water. That's beautiful.
Look how grand these mountains are. Incredible. Look at those little babies. Right? Just down there okay. before the climb. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you and we were going to make the climb, but the climb was fine. And we just turned. Yeah, but you know, there's coffee and uh, Oh, really? Yeah, but it's 45 minutes past. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure if I'm gonna go right okay. I'm just gonna go really quick. Oh my god. Wow. This is what I see in those calendars. Oh my goodness. Holy <laughs> That's what I thought. I want to own a pet goat. Whew. What a trek. I'm so unfit. Oh my god. Ooh, it's starting to snow a little bit. It's snowing! snowing. <laughs> <sighs> wow. It's incredible. Holy. Guys, look how steep that is. I'm scared to move to the edge. Wow. It's starting to snow. Not gonna lie, guys. Being on this uneven pavement and being so close to the edge, I can feel my, like, knees slash ankles starting to tremble a little bit because of my fear of heights but we're gonna keep going we got this we're like halfway there <sighs> that's crazy that's where we were and now look at us God, this is unreal. We were all the way down there. Holy. We should be proud of ourselves. Look at us go. Holy. Oh my God. Incredible. Holy. Go up. I don't know why my hat is on like this, but uh, it is. It looks so funny. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, they gave us loot. They gave us a hat. They gave us a backpack. They gave us a portable prayer mat, which is so beautiful. They also gave us uh, snacks. And they gave us a uh, sweater. Hi, guys. So we reached the top of the mountain. I completed my first hike. Oh my goodness, I am so proud of myself. Despite my fear of heights, I uh, made it work. And um, now we stop at a tea house on top of the mountain. And we're going to get some lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to pray together. It's Friday. So we're going to pray uh, together. And then after that, we're going to go down the... Um, mountain inshallah so that is the plan for the rest of the day and i think we have the rest of the evening to ourselves i'm not sure but we'll see all right guys so this is what it's come to i have to pee in the bushes uh, thankfully i have i just finished doing wudu in that street oh my goodness wow incredible Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Allahu qawli. So there's a saying about the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him that they were tujaruniya in Arabic, which means they were uh, businessmen or traders of niya, which is intention, right? Whenever they would do any act, they were so smart and so diligent on having as many intentions as possible with that one action to get as much reward as they can, right? So in our context, as we're hiking, as we're doing this, we're admiring Allah, uh, Allah's creation, we're fundraising, we're, even when you're posting on Instagram, do it for the intention of genuinely raising awareness for the people of Afghanistan and make sure your intentions are as pure as possible, right? And Again, this is not to cause any goals or for us to feel like we're just so privileged that we don't deserve what, we, what we're given. Allah put us in this position, again, for a reason, for a purpose. We are not any more special. We're not any better than anybody who's this privileged around the world. We're just put in this position to help other people. It is our duty, right? And something that Shaykh Omar Saman always says in his lectures is that, you don't know, maybe one dua from the people of Afghanistan could be your duty done. Maybe everything you've done in your entire life won't be accepted, but that one dua from someone that you've never ever met could be your um, your, uh, your your savior and could be your key to Jannah. In Allah, how many of you are going to be able to do this? Yeah, you are going to be able to do this. All right, we just finished at the tea house. And now we're continuing up to the lookout. We had an option to head back to the hostel. I wanna finish this. It's really crazy. I really feel like the mountains are blessed. Like the smallest things that I wanted. It's like, I got it. I wanted to touch the stream of water. I was always so far away from it. I got to do wudu in it. Nice. Which is the clean, uh, cleansing for prayers. We went the wrong way. Um, I wanted to get a hot chocolate, but I also wanted tea. So I bought tea and someone ended up accidentally getting too many hot chocolates. And I got uh, a hot chocolate. I wanted to <laughs> jump over a, a fence and it uh, worked out that we like took the wrong route back to the main trail and I we like were forced to jump a fence. So it's just crazy how little things that I've wanted over the course of this hike I've gotten. It just blows my mind. And of course, I'm sure there's going to be people who are like, that's just you trying to find stuff to be grateful for. That's just coincidence. It ain't coincidence, man. Like, if you're gonna think of everything as a coincidence, then you're not gonna be able to show gratitude for things that work out for you when it's meant for you, you know? So, it's really beautiful. It's really amazing. I uh, feel blessed to be here. It's a crazy experience. I never thought I'd be doing this. Like, this is not my kind of thing, but it's becoming my kind of thing. Super into it. Look at this. How insane is this? In the middle of the mountains, guys. Crazy. It's incredible. That was us. All the way over there. Holy. Well, we made it to the lookout. Apparently, there's an echo. I think so. I'm gonna go call them. Apparently there's an echo, guys. I'm gonna be super cheesy and say Raven. <laughs> Should I do that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, just like ignore what you're about to hear. I just wanna do something super cheesy. <laughs> Let's see if we hear it. 
This is for my, should I say Raven? The nest, I'll say the nest. The nest! Oh my God, did you guys hear that? That's so cool! Oh my God. Okay, let's do one with Raven. One, two, three. You gotta listen really hard. One, two, three. Raven! That's so cool! Okay guys, this is a really slippery edge. We reached another lookout point. I think I'm gonna end here. Yeah! It's like snowing up here. Yeah, it's already snowing. Hello. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. My day, Baba Tees, and you. Incredible. Look at those parts. The Wapelis part back is. Yeah? Oh my god, we were all the way back there, guys. That's insane. Look at that. Gigi. That's the music? Omer, do we have Afghans on this trip? Yeah, Lima and Aisha. Oh my god, in here? This is crazy. Yeah, go for it. Is that the epic? A dan? A dan. Like, uh, uh, like the call to prayer? No. Oh, okay. Like the, the traditional Afghan dance? Oh, that's so cool! Yeah. This half piece of zay. Yeah, this one is? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, so proud of myself. Oh, reached the other lookout. And oh. I don't know how no one else is out of breath. I'm just kind of really breathless. Holy. And. Uh, that was us all the way over there. Holy. Whew. Super proud of us. We made it. We were over there. And now look at us. Whew. So proud of us. No problem. You made it. Look at how red my cheeks are. I'm pretty afraid to go down, guys. I'm not gonna lie. You see where those little people are? That's where we gotta go. And all the way back to that lake. And I didn't think this through. I'm a little scared. Y'all know I'm afraid of heights. Yeah. Fuck. Guys, this is so scary. Oh my god. Right beside you. Look at the ledge right beside. Oh my god, we came from up there. Can I drink this water? Probably. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so refreshing. Is it? Wow. <laughs> Holy. That's awesome. This is amazing. Oh my god. Thank you so much. So, I'm skipping dinner tonight. I got hit with the poop attack. Second round, so this is my casual wear. Comfy sweatpants and a beautiful um, fleece sweater that they gave to us. And I'm just gonna go to IGA, which is a pharmacy around here. I just wanna like browse, I wanna do some shopping. <laughs> so. so guys, there's something local called Grizzly Paw Soda. It comes in black cherry cola. Um, what's this one? Root beer and cream soda. And there's a whole bunch of actually different flavors as well. I'm really interested in the black cherry cola. So we're gonna try this. I'm pretty sure this is non-alcoholic. Let's just double check. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. Let's go. My stomach is really hurting me, so hopefully this will help. You know what I realized, guys? I didn't take a video to end off day 218 which was day 2 of the hike 
Uh, oh, sorry, of my time in Calgary. So I know I bombarded you guys with a whole bunch of videos. Um, and I should tell you how the night ended. So overall, I ended up praying um, Fudger, the whore, Usser, which you guys saw, which was absolutely beautiful. Um, and then after that, I missed Mokra, but I prayed Isha. So that was nice. And then after that, uh, we had dinner, but I actually skipped dinner because my stomach was upset. Pretty sure from that Indian food. And I kind of started feeling it hit me when I had hot chocolate on the mountain. So I decided not to go for dinner, but instead I went to IGA and I took a little video for you guys there. And then after that, I headed into back to the hotel. I showered a beautiful warm shower, what a blessing water is, and then Pradesha, and then pretty much just like laid in bed, chilled, and went to sleep. That was pretty much my day. Um, nothing else to report you guys on. Water intake has been terrible just because I have to be careful how much water I drink since there aren't many washrooms around and I don't want to go in the bushes. We all saw how that went. And um, diet has been okay I don't feel like I'm doing too terrible like I'm not consuming Popeyes and pizza and this and this although I'm a little sad that I missed yesterday's dinner it was chili so the, we had they had like tacos and nachos y'all know I love nachos so a little sad about that but at the same time I would have eaten more than my body could handle I'm sure or I probably and the cheese wasn't good for me I would have been destroyed even more so Glad I didn't go and glad I didn't do that to my body, but instead listened to my body and just stayed indoors. And repeating that again, um, as you guys will find out in uh, the next video that I'm probably going to skip out on that last hike because I need to listen to my body. So as always, I am wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boo. Stay scrumptious, my nunus. Inshallah, God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Take care and Raven out. Bye, guys.